Welcome back to John's Films. Today we're in Fusion because we're creating this countdown timer. All right, I know I said the scary word, that being Fusion, but let me explain. Blackmagic Design has added some character decorators that make this extremely easy. To get started, I'm going to go to my timeline and with the effects library, I'll create a generator. Here, I'm gonna go with the four color gradient just to make things a little more interesting. If you haven't used this before, I can use this to create a slight variation in my background that makes it a lot more interesting. Here we go. So we've got a little bit of a color difference in it, but that's not the important thing today. Next, I click titles in my effects library and drag a text plus node down onto my timeline. <clears throat> now I have a text plus node on my timeline. I have stylized text. I can type whatever I want in here. However, that's not what I'm after today. So I right click inside my stylized text field and come down to text timer. Now this inserts a default timer, which is a countdown timer from one minute. But I'd like to change the parameters associated with that. And this is where you find out that it's not as easy as you might think, even if you read the manual. The problem is, if I'd like to edit that key, there's no fantastic way to do so. I can go into Fusion, of course, and when I do that, hmm, it doesn't give me the options that I'm expecting to see to be able to modify this text. So to fix that, what I'll do is go back and delete my text node. I don't need that anyway. I do like my gradient, and of course, I'll turn that into a compound clip and to a fusion clip. And now I'm gonna go into fusion directly. Again, this is not gonna be that scary, I promise. If you haven't been in fusion before, on the left, I have whatever footage has come in. So I've put it on my number one viewer by pressing one while it's highlighted. I could do that as well by dragging it up there. And on the right is what comes out. So really it's what comes in to what goes out inside my node graph. To put something in the middle, I can highlight a node, hit shift and spacebar, which brings up my tool selection menu. Now we know that we wanna use a text plus, so I type in text and then go down to text plus, hitting enter. This adds a merge node with a text plus object in my node graph. I know, I know, stuff's getting real. I click on my text plus node in my node graph, and I right click inside the text field in the inspector. I can come down and again add a text timer. Now you may say to yourself, um, John, we just did this. It didn't work. That's true, except for this time I'm going to select my counter and go to modifiers. Here in modifiers, you can see a mode. Now I told you that previously we added a one minute countdown by default. That was the breakdown. Well, I think you can see here, we have a countdown, we have a timer, and we have a clock. I'm going with the countdown. I like to make it say five seconds long instead of a minute long. So I add five to the seconds, I add zero to the minutes, and now I've got a, look at that, five second counter. Now, as you're excited and jumped ahead, you tried to play it and it didn't count down. John, it's broken. Not exactly. It's not very clear in the manual, but you need to keyframe the countdown. So I'll make sure that my playhead is over frame zero here. I will click the keyframe button over on my five seconds. And now I'm going to grab my playhead and move it all the way down the timeline to frame 149. Here, I will change my number of seconds down to zero, and it has now created a keyframe between five and zero. That provides the countdown. So this is how you would set the duration of your countdown as well as the rate. This way you could count down faster than just by seconds. I happen to have chosen 150 frames, which divided by 30, five seconds. So that's why I chose five seconds, but you could count down faster if you wanted to. You could also get rid of the hours, the minutes, and have it just be a counter. Now, before you try this at home, there's a spot that you will mess up. And that spot is when you are in Fusion. You add your text plus node, everything's going great, John. You right click onto your stylized text, 
and because it's not here yet, it works great, you add a text timer. You then attempt to click on your modifiers, and it doesn't show. The reason it's not going to show is you need to highlight the text that exists here first. I don't know why, it's been fickle for me, but this would be a snag that you might hit. So let me know what you do with your text timers. I'm excited to see how other people use this. There are a lot of different options inside the stylized text that you can create, and I will review some of those in future videos. But thank you for watching, subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet, and do me a favor, hit that like button if you like this one. Thanks a lot, have a great day.